Robodebt was Scott Morrison's idea. It was a scam, an illegal scam, targeting the most vulnerable Australians, sending them fake debt notices for Centrelink debts that they did not owe. Um, the federal court today found that it was illegal and called it a shameful chapter in Australia's history. There's no words to really explain the impact on people from these fake debt notices for money they didn't owe. The suicides have been tragically well documented in the media, uh, but it's one of the most difficult things that I've had to do as a member of parliament is sitting down with numerous people as they come in. This is not something you find in your spam folder on the internet. This is an official letter from the government of Australia with the Commonwealth logo on it, demanding money in 28 days that you do not owe. Sitting with people as they're breaking down crying, they've got no way of disproving the debt uh, and no way of repaying it. Do you know what a payment plan is like? Does Scott Morrison know what a payment plan is like for someone who it's claimed owes $20,000 and is gonna be asked to repay it at $5 a week? You know, this is the government, of course, that handed over billions of dollars of JobKeeper to profitable companies, their mates, that increase the profits in their companies, but is chasing vulnerable Australians for money they did not owe. And yet not one minister in his government has been held responsible. Not one. And you know why? It's because Scott Morrison started this scheme. And if one of them went, he'd have to go too. We saw in the Netherlands a government found guilty of perpetrating a scam like this and the whole government resigned and yet no one in Scott Morrison's Liberal Party show has been held accountable. Please leave your comments below on what you think. Also, please like or dislike the video, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and be notified when we post new videos. Thank you.